Turkey has sent doctors and medical supplies to Somalia to treat the dozens injured in Saturday's truck bombing. At least 80 people were killed in Mogadishu. Somalia's president is blaming the armed group Al-Shabaab and he's vowing the country won't be demoralised by the worst attack for two years. Haru Matasa is covering developments from Nairobi in neighbouring Kenya. Well, right now, we told that the security has been slightly increased in Mogadishu. There are a bit more police officers and soldiers, particularly at uh, security checkpoints. Uh, in terms of other things, the focus right now really seems to be on treating the injured. A lot of hospitals are unable to cope with the number of people who have been injured and the seriousness of the injury. So Turkey has sent in uh, medical equipment and also a medical team, and that team is on the ground trying to treat people who've been injured. Those who are critical have been evacuated. We told 15 people have been sent to Turkey. So that is the main focus for most people right now, especially those with family members who are lying in hospitals waiting to be treated. The general sentiment on the ground from people is that they are angry. They keep asking, why does it take so long? Or why is it always these attacks keep happening and nothing really seems to be done about it? They're growing impatient. They're tired of seeing their loved ones die. And the government is under a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure to improve the security situation in Somalia. But right now, everyone seems to be focused on trying to treat as many people as possible. And for now, we know the latest is 15 people have been evacuated to Turkey. Nia Kwete is an independent Africa policy analyst. He says it's time for the world to make a serious effort to tackle armed groups in Africa. The support from the international community has not been zero. Let me, let me say that. But having said that, in my opinion, my strong opinion, it is insufficient. It is less than what Somalia needs. And it's not just Somalia. The Al-Shabaab has attacked uh, Kenya. They have attacked Uganda. Then if you swing over to Western and North Africa, there are terrorist groups all over. So Africa has a real terrorist problem. I live in Washington. And I don't get the sense that the Western countries take terrorism in Africa seriously. They think it's a secondary problem. They blame African governments. They say, well, the government is not perfect. The government has, has uh, corruption. So until they clean up their act, they, they have to deal with it. I think that is wrong. They, we have to use the same yardstick. When the terrorist victims are, whether in Europe, whether in the Middle East, or whether in North America, we have to understand that we need to bring dissident groups into the political uh, circle to talk. But if they pick up arms, then the state must suppress them so that innocents are not killed. We need to protect African lives the same way we protect other lives.